You know what time it is. It's game time. I really hope these stay. We are going to play Let's Be Honest. So it's just where we ask you a series of questions and you have to answer them honestly. And every time you answer, you have to raise your flag. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Kyla, if you had to be stranded on an island, which three teammates would you bring with you? I mean, I, I live with three of my teammates, so I think I'd bring my roommates. Mm -hmm. It's Maddie, Mercedes, and Fish. Aw, cute. Felicia, but she goes by Fish. Ooh. What is your biggest pet peeve? <laughs> I have a lot because I like, <laughs> I don't have OCD, but like, I love organization. So, like, dirtiness, any sort of dirtiness is my pet peeve. <laughs> any sort. You like, got that? Dirty bad. dishes, dirty messiness, unorganized, or unorganization. Like, uh, I feel you. Bosses <laughs> are not unorganized or dirty. <laughs> you hear that stressed exhale? <laughs> Who was your celebrity crush growing up? Oh, okay. <laughs> growing up, it was definitely. Definitely Harry Styles from One Direction. Uh, I was obsessed with One Direction growing up. I went through a One Direction phase too. I thought he was the cutest. <laughs> now Zayn's really hot. <laughs> if you weren't a gymnast, what sport or what do you think you would be doing right now? If I wasn't a gymnast, me and Mercedes have gotten really into cheerleading. <laughs> I did not know Wait, I did. I saw Sadie's TikTok. Because, it, okay, every year when we go to Woodward, we like hang out with a lot of the cheerleaders, and that we, now we feel like we're partly into that world. <laughs> Even though not, like, not really, because we've never tried it, but it's really fun. So we, we're joking. We're like, after we finish gym, like, we're gonna do cheer. But we're kidding. So but like, maybe not. <laughs> oh my god. What fashion trend do you love? The winter fast fashion trend right now is like all like the really like furry jackets, mm. like the teddy bear jackets. Oh. Like right now, that's in. What is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Well, technically, the first thing I do is snooze my alarm because <laughs> <laughs> I can't wake up. Like, I mean, I probably can, but like, I do not like waking up on my first alarm. So I usually set three. <laughs> I feel and, like good. a good day. I'll wake up on the second one, and like on a, good day. a lot of days. I'm not feeling like <laughs> If you can't sleep before a meet, what do you do? Um, I mean, I usually like, I'm really good at falling asleep, so <laughs> I don't really have that problem. <laughs> but nice. if, I do, if I do stay up, I'd probably just watch Netflix. Mm, good one. What is a sport that you don't understand? <laughs> Oh, I actually like enjoy watching a lot of other sports, so I feel like maybe I wouldn't know the rules of like lacro lacrosse isn't really big here. I, I maybe wouldn't know the rules of like lacrosse or field hockey. I mean, obviously you want to get a goal, but I wouldn't know, the rules. I wouldn't know like the rules. Okay, pretty knowledgeable on sports. She really is. <laughs> yeah, she really is. Maybe was like every sport that has a ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what advice do you have to a gymnast that is going through puberty? <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know we wrote it until I read it. Um, I don't know. Like, I mean, it's really hard for gymnasts to go through puberty just because, like, I don't know, gymnastics is, like, fairly easy when, like, before <laughs> puberty. Like, I used Man. to be able to do, like, double-doubles off bars, and, like, I used to be able to do, like, full-ins easily on floor. So it's, like, but once you hit puberty, it definitely is harder. I just, like, had to condition more. But, I don't know, it's definitely hard because, like, you're in a leotard and... Very Man. vulnerable. What is a superstitious thing that one of your teammates does that you don't understand? <laughs> like I have a ton of superstitions, so I kind of like understand people's mm. superstitions. Um, I can like list a few. Like, yeah, me, go ahead. Like me and Maddie like wear the same PJ outfit before meets <laughs> <laughs> like, the whole season. <laughs> and so, oh, really but cute. it's like really funny because like our PJ shirt like is the same. <laughs> so it's, like now we always match when we go to bed. Fish is like not, I don't, she's like not superstitious. I have a lot of superstitions. You can list some of yours. Like it's not as bad. In Elite, I used to have a ton, but like, <laughs> I'd have to use the same like hair ties and hair clips like every me. Oh, oh I did that too but actually. now it's like just my clips. Like before it was like even the hair ties. <laughs> what if it broke? Um, yeah, I'd be, I'd be upset. <laughs> oh, I have to visualize like before I go to bed. For each meet, like I have to go through the meet. Well, I have to like put my body mist on when I put my Leo on. <laughs> <laughs> my mom is the one who like started that with me. She called it like G E like power spray. Like like it, she's the one who, like would buy me body mist. She, like she like just spray it for the meet. Like it'll give you 
like good luck, good energy. And now like I always have to do it. Before like, I go out, like I put my cop wheel on and then I like spray my body mist. <laughs> Yay! Thanks Kyla for coming on our show. Thanks for having that me. That was so much fun. All right guys, if you like this episode, make sure to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on new episodes. See you next time, bye! <laughs>